Today's to the point topic is how to create your own Halloween art library for free. Uh, and if you follow this example, uh, you'll be able to do this for any of the holiday fonts. And we're going to go out and grab one called Monster Mash. We're going to take some of the characters and we're going to build our art library. So we'll go to defont.com and you want to go over to the right. Click Halloween, and I've used this font before. If you've seen any of my videos, uh, I've used it quite a bit because it's a good font. But when you find something that works, you, you kind of stick with it for a while. So in the preview, just type anything, doesn't matter what. And I always like to go large on size. It doesn't always matter, but sometimes it does. Uh, leave the sort by popularity. Go to more options, select 100% free, and note that it selects public domain. And this way you can be sure there's no issues with the uh, font that you're using. And then click the submit button. There's a lot of options. And you'll note off to the right that they do say 100% free as we requested. We're going to go to the second page. Just scroll all the way to the bottom. Click the second page, and we are looking for Monster Mash right here. Uh, and you can download it here, or you can click, and you can see what your options are for each letters. Uh, caps and lowercase have different, uh, different characters as well as the numbers. So then you can download it, and when you get it downloaded, uh, you'll have a Monster Mash zip file. You want to right click on that, extract all with whatever program you have. You'll get a Monster Mash folder. You'll get a single true type font. Right click and install. And this will be made available to Lightburn. Uh, and like I say all the time, Lightburn doesn't actually come with any fonts, uh, it just inherits what you have on your computer or what you download. Okay, so we're going to go to the text tool, and we're going to go up top, make sure that you have Monster Mash selected, and it doesn't show up with a name, it shows up with characters, if you can, hopefully you can see that, and once you select it, uh, if you select it properly, it'll say Monster Mash in the font name there. So, you have... You can go get a screen print of what each one represents, or you can just set the caps lock and just type a bunch out. And once you get them typed out. Let's do a few lowercase. What we're going to do, remember you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. You can push down and you can move the entire canvas around. But once you get them typed out, the ones you want, or it can be the entire alphabet set, you want to select them, right click, and then convert them to a path. And at that point, they're no longer letters, they're individual uh, objects. And you'll see that the inner pieces, like on this vampire eye, uh, they're not connected. So you have to go back in and reconnect them. So I'm going to control Z to back up. So to make sure you don't lose this vampire's eyes, You'll select that individual object and then group it back together. But once you do it and save it in your art library, I'm just arrowing down to get it out of the way. Uh, once you do this and you put all of these in your art library, you won't have to do it anymore. And they'll be there anytime you want to use them and free is good I, I like free
So let me get a few of these. Some of these are fine. Now, some of the fonts you can, uh, you'll be able to, some of the characters you'll be able to ungroup and remove certain pieces. Some of them you won't. So uh, you just have to get used to, I think I grouped that one. No, I didn't. Uh, you just have to get used to the different fonts and what they have and then work with it as you go. Let me get these last few. And then we will set up this uh, art library. And it's good to have, so you don't have to uh, you don't have to go to the font every time. You can just go to your art library and pull them out. It's real handy. And I always say how valuable the uh, the viewer's comments are. And I really didn't get into using art libraries until probably a year ago or less when a, uh, when a viewer asked me why didn't I do it. Because uh, I was, mostly I was saving SVGs of my vectors that I was making instead of just putting them into an art library. And sometimes I did, but I didn't, I didn't do it on camera. So it was good they asked. It, it got me more used to using them and sharing them with you folks. Okay, so now we have some characters. And again, you can do the entire alphabet, all the numbers that are available, and you can put those all into your Halloween art library. So we're going to go down to the bottom under Art Library, and we're going to click New. And we'll just call this one Monster Mash, since that's the font. Click Save. And then it appears over here on the right, in amongst the, the other ones that are there. So to add these to it, We'll start with this tree. You select it. You go down to the bottom, Import Graphic from Project. Click it. Give it a name. Or you could, uh, to make it easier, you may could just give it the letter. That might help. Whatever you need to do to get these in there, uh, then... Do that, whatever best helps you remember what to do. It is really helpful. I'm not even sure what that one is. But you can have fun with this and you can build up a full uh, a full art library for each holiday. Uh, there's certainly a lot of uh, Christmas and Easter and other holidays out there on DeFont.com. Uh, so just play around with it. And hopefully, this is in time for you to be able to use it. I'm just randomly putting letters in there for these because I've already got one of these set aside somewhere. Uh, but it'll help you to uh, to get ready for each holiday. And this is soon enough you can get busy with, with Halloween.